events A and B are independent, right there is something very important. When two events are independent, then you are allowed to say the following. That is a formula when two events are independent. Okay, so it says represent the given information on a Venn diagram, <laughs> indicate the Venn diagram probabilities. Um, okay, so on a Venn diagram, we know that they will intersect because if they were, if, if, if we know that the probability of A and B is zero, then we call that mutually exclusive. But then on your Venn diagram, it would look like that. Okay, so then Kevin, how do we know that they intersect? Well, they just told us that they are independent. So that means that the probability of A and B is these two multiplied together, and that won't give us zero. So there is definitely an intersection in the middle. Okay, now what a lot of learners do wrong is they say, oh, probability of A is 0 0.4, and then they go put 0 0.4 here. Not correct. When they say probability of A is 0 0.4, they are talking about the entire probability of A, and the same with B. So what I would say we should do first is they told us that probability of A and B, because they are independent, we can multiply them, which is going to be 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.25, which is going to be 0 0.1. So that means this part is 0 0.1. That then means this part is 0 0.3, so that A is 0 0.4 in total. And then this would be 0 0.15, so that B is 0 0.25 in total. Now we can add these three things together, and that would give us 0 0.55. That's called A or B. We know that all probability, however, should add up to 1. So to work out what's on the outside here, we could say 1 minus 0 0.55, and that'll be 0 0.45. So we can put that on the outside of here. So it says represent the information on a Venn diagram. We've done that. Determine the probability of A or not B. So A or not B. Okay. So if we go look at probability of A, well, that would be this one and this one. Okay, so let's actually highlight that and then it says not B so not B so if you scratch out B not B would be here and here okay um, so not B is gonna be here and here now take that away now now you're gonna all the places where you see a tick you're gonna add that together but because this one has two ticks you're not gonna add them both you're just gonna add one of them there's a tick here and there's a tick here. So we're going to say 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.45. And that'll give you 0 0.85. If the question had an and over there, then it has to be yellow and green. So then the only answer would be, just hold on, then your only answer would actually be this part over here. Because there we can see that both a and not B was satisfied over here. But because they're saying or, it just means that it has to be in or this category or it can be in this category for us to be allowed to count it. Okay, so we get 0 0.85.